Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Storybook Brawl. You see I've been playing a little bit. I got my rank to Royal 2140, which isn't great. And, you know, the long-term plan, let's get to 2500 next. That's the goal. But we also have 4000 Fairy Dust. So I think what we're going to do first is we're going to buy a new character. So, which hero? I haven't actually ever played with Beauty. So, they seem alright. Uh, I really like the ones that really set you up for your strategy towards the end of the game. Uh, also, Loki is seemingly ridiculously good, so maybe we just get him. Um, Maite is not amazing, I don't think. Peter Pants, I don't think is great. Potion Master, very cool, gives you a lot of extra buffs. Sad Dracula also has that potential. So, what do we take? Um, hmm. Don't enjoy Trophy Hunter. Don't enjoy Wonder Waddle. Snow Angel's pretty good, but again, it's like it doesn't really build you up for the end of the game. So, Potion Master, Sad Dracula, and maybe Loki? Uh, Ivella also really good for the end of the game because you can get like a plus 10 plus 10 and everything. I actually quite like Charon. Charon, Charon. I quite like them. Maybe we'll get them. Let's do that. Uh, although now that you have uh, Sad Dracula, it's kind of like, why wouldn't you take Sad Dracula? Just make sure you kill things and then it's fine. Um, what would you want to die a lot? And it gains attack, which is... I, I care more about the health. Um, always Mordred looks pretty fun. Let's go for... Let's not go for Sad Dracula, because I think everyone will be doing that, because it's fun. We're going to get Loki, because then I might learn to appreciate spells a little bit more. So let's buy them. Not going to be able to play a game with them, I'm sure, but maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see. So our options here, Merlin, pretty great. Ivella, pretty great. Zelua, I really like, but I always lose with them. So do I want to do a Merlin or an Ivella? Um, Merlin, I feel like the, the random is pretty annoying, but also pretty good. Ivella gives you a more specific build you want to go for. And Zelua, I don't know, you just get, you just get the cool things for cheaper. Um, I'm more like to win with Ivella and I want to get to 2500, so let's take Ivella. <laughs> it's all about rank, that's all we want. Now that I know that once you go past a rank you can't go below it again, or at least I haven't been able to go below 2000 when I was at 2000 and lost a couple of games, so I'm mostly interested in getting 2500 at the moment and then we can start, you know, messing about with other builds and stuff. And one of our animals dies, give our evil characters plus one plus one. Uh, I mean, we're just going to take whatever we get. There we go. Uh, it's pretty good. Mm, do I want to freeze it? What am I going to get? I could get the black cat, but I think the extra gold is pretty worth it. I kind of wish this had landed on our kitty cup purse. Having a a 3-2 kitty cup purse once we buy the minotaur as well. That would be pretty great. So, we'll take kitty cup purse. And we'll also buy another character, because we can. Uh, if we get a princess... Um, the princesses are mostly good. But we're not going to get many evil dwarves. So maybe we just hope we get a princess and that'll give us a bit of a boost in later rounds. In fact, I'm going to put it this way around. Hmm, do we defend this a bit? It's hard to say. I think we need to guarantee the two attack on that. Now nah, we'll do this. I've gone with it. Oh yeah, I should keep this back because it gets buffed. Nice, the buff we needed. So, here's some animals. Uh, 
said, yeah, I think I just take two of these animals. Um, I really hate bad Billy Ruff <laughs> because it's just very underwhelming. Um, but I mean, I want the blind mouse and when there's two of these, I'm kind of wondering whether I want to get the third one. Hmm. Maybe we even do this. Do I freeze that? Uh, we can spend the spare gold, but we'll be on level 3 characters, so we probably just want to get to level 3, yeah. So the reason I'm doing this is that these will all have plus 1 because of the blind mouse, so uh, that'll be pretty great. And that's better than having some at the front and then some at the back, I think. Ah, we missed the sleigh. Oh, they get double, they don't get double slay. Okay, good. That is what we like to see. That's going to help us out. And then we want just a bunch of evil animals, which none of these are. Um, none of them are a princess either. So I might cast a random spell. Okay. And then I could switch out the prince. Uh, none of them are animals either. Hmm. Um, so we'll switch those around like so. I don't think we're going to get a princess, so I'm going to trade it for a tree that will eventually have more health than that prince did. <laughs> uh, and hopefully that will work for us. We want this last... Do we want to switch those around? We could do that. That's pretty good. Because we do kind of want to get the sleigh gold. Oh no. They got triple support. Oh, okay, they've got one. But they have got flyers. That's annoying. Good thing we got enough health already. Yeah, and we get a sleigh in. That's good. Cool. And we win, so we get three additional gold. So we can buy a bunch of level 3 characters, we'll take that. Do I want to take this? It does make our board instantly better. So it's probably worth doing. And then we'll roll. There's a cat, which is great. Uh, or we get Bo Peep, which is really going to buff our back row. Although the cat is... I think the cat is better. And then we'll get the wolf at level 4. Um, so then we'll switch out, so we have animals on the front row, and then everything else on the back row. Um, oh, we do have a monster. Uh, pretty good to have a huge monster. I don't think there's much else we're going to get a level 3 that's interesting, so let's go for it, why not? would like to find three blind mice, but... I always struggle to find them together. And we're against Sad Dracula who's going to try and slay. Ooh, that is a... That is a huge ranger. <laughs> Please take that out quickly. Oh, wow. It just gets huger and huger. Okay. Well, we did a good chunk of damage, which is going to help us, because they are going to be a problem later if they keep that ranger going. So we want animals and evils, and none of those are there. I will take a blind mouse. Do I push for XP? We're up against Geppetto. It can be pretty annoying. I'm not going to do dwarves. I'm not going to do that slay. I think we will... It will help us out a bunch if we push XP, because, uh, yeah, we probably want to get up to the pumpkin eventually. That's a pretty good evil card to have. Is this the best layout for them? Hmm. It gives everything plus one, so I probably want that back here. I could... No, I don't need the sleigh that much. The gold is not that important. We'll be fine without it. But yeah, I'd quite like to triple the queen. Uh, not so much care about these, but you know, if we find one, we'll triple it because it's a treasure. 
and then we'll want to get into our sheeps soon. The black sheep, uh, because that is better than the black cat and it's more animals to die, which will buff our things at the back. Okay, uh, that's kind of alright. Oh, that's a big tree. We have had none of the support buffs, which has been a bit of a problem, but these things are huge. So, <laughs> we're going to be fine. Nice, and we get our win, which is an extra XP. Um, so, probably not going to do too much of that. Um, we could make huge evil tree ants. Uh, it's only this brawl. So we probably just want animals everywhere. Uh, I'm wondering, I think I just don't take the black cat. I want to spend my gold on better stuff. We don't have a tree ant. A permanent buff is worth trying to chase a bit. And maybe we eeny meeny miny mo, but what are we going to get out of that? Uh, yeah, we might get a buff thing. No, nope, we got the worst thing we could get. Wonderful. So let's drop that in there. Um, probably here. Not sure what I want to buff is the question. So I'm pretty sure if these merge, you only get the buffs from the one that has more buff. So maybe I'm better off switching them around. Because that plus two plus two is not going to add up much. Um, yeah, although I'm not going to play Labyrinth Minotaur for a while, so maybe I stick these together so that I don't know, I'll be able to cover something okay, nice we get a sleigh so they are buffed forever and they are going to get more and more buff for the rest of this and Beauty is making a huge vein pyre oh, that's annoying okay we lose, but it's not too bad. We'll wait for someone else to beat them, so they have two less attack on everything. Um, I don't think we want to get a treasure from that. It's not going to be too easy. It's a bit late now. So I think we're just going to roll. We're on level fives, so there's a good chance. I think we'll devour this prince. Might be able to get two level five characters out. Uh, Cupid is not what we want. Um, the attack buff could help if we spawn a few more things, so I will grab that. And there's the better attack buff that I could have had instead. Uh, let's... I don't... No, I don't want Lancelot. What am I thinking? How much do I want? I think I just get rid of this, even though I just bought it, and switch it out for this attack buff. Um, and then there's another level four, so let's sell our cut purse and that for another one of these, which can give us some buffs all around. Permanent buffs, mind you, which is the thing we really want, to be honest, out of anything. Let's hope we can get some buffing happening. Oh yeah, the cat being there is a bit of a problem. Well, we slay here. Nice. Don't think we're going to get a second slay out of that. But you never know. Nope. But we should be winning this, which also is going to stop their Merlin's test from paying off. So we have another... Sporko. I think we'll take that. Not a level 6 yet. We really want more animals and more evils. And we're not really finding them. Where are all the wolves? I guess Geppetto must have all of them. Okay, that's pretty good to get hold of. Let's... Mm, yeah, let's sell these evil animals and get me a nice bear that we can breed. Uh... I should probably 
think I'm gonna do that. Um, do we want Scorpio to get the buff? Probably. The Queen might not even stay in the final thing we build. Um, we don't have anything we can sell to get the Witch's Brew. Or at least I don't think it's meaningful enough. Yeah. Oh, although if these die first... I mean, we want these to slay, but we also want these to die. But they just buff all our back row, so that's also fine. Oh. Oh, okay, it just didn't load. Alright, there is a permanent buff for Sporko, which is nice. Lots of animals dying, which is great. Ah, oh, that one's flying. It's not too bad. Okay, we should be good here. So our huge queens come in. Yeah, nice. One off. Almost there. Uh, vampire is not what we need. We want animals. And we're not getting any. Um, we don't have tree ants. Where are all these animals, honestly? Um, we're doing a little bit of slaying, but not enough to warrant that. I mean, we'll take another. It's more animals to die. And we're even going to take a free roll in case that. Okay. Uh, double slay. We're not, we're not doing a slay build, is the thing. Hmm. Yeah. Because half the slave buff goes on. Although, we can just trade Sporko. I don't think so. Where are these animals? And these evils? I think we're going to struggle here. Um, I think that's going to make a difference. Because these will... Yeah, because we get three times, we get 15 extra attack if we put that there. Uh -oh. Okay, that's a fine random spell. Nice, we get our second slay in, which is good for a permanent buff. Cool, we should be alright. And then something to... Oh, no. Okay, cool. Yes, that's good. So... I mean, buffing a monster might... No, it's not our long-term strategy. Um, Medusa is not either. There is a sheep in wolf's clothing. Which kind of feels a bit overshadowed by these bears now, but I think we should take it because it might become one of these because um, we just want a lot of animals to die at the front and if they're all evil, even better um, wow, what do we get rid of? I guess one of these uh, we could triple for a level 4 which is the same as a mouse and we're probably more likely to get one Um, there is the queen we need, finally, I, it's going to stick in our build now because we don't really have a choice. Um, a lot of buff, or everything having more attack, that also benefits us because we are hoping to play a lot of creatures. Uh, so I think we'll leave it like that. That has 10 health which could survive some things. Um, but yeah, the main thing is, everything is getting a lot of buffs now. Nice, good to get rid of that one. So we kind of don't want to get another baby bear, because it will buff a little bit annoyingly, if we do. Uh, cool, and then... Yes, we do win. Just. Not by much. 
So we really want to get a pumpkin. That would help us a lot. Uh, we can roll that for two level six characters. Mm. There's a good chance we get a sheep and wolf's clothing. Let's do it. Okay. That is really good. Uh, so we can take that and that. Let's triple these. Which. Um, double cast a spell. Is that, is that best? Um, I think we just want to stop having spells. And then we're going to take that because that's immediately going to be more helpful to us. Uh, and that's good because now we don't need support everywhere. But I think we do want to get Grumble Ball. It's ranged. It'll get huge buffs over time. Although then maybe our evil queen is rotating out. Um, but it would be nice to have them like either side. Hmm. Uh, I mean the six on those is not terrible. Uh, do we take it? I think we want more chance of a pumpkin. We will eventually replace those for other evil creatures. Not sure what though. Because we want to get full triggers on our great pumpkin king. Because these don't trigger because they're only level one. Uh, when you, whenever you spawn something, it's level one. So you don't get a benefit from great pumpkin king. a lot of damage, but we're against a, a dead player, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So we've made this top four, which is a victory, which is always nice to see. Um, there, we're, we're going to triple that because the level four treasure might make a difference. Uh, summon an additional, always good. Um, do we want to put some monsters in? That's a monster. Hmm. I think we should stick with what we're going with, which is a lot of animals. Um, that is an animal, but it gives attack to good characters, which helps a little bit, but not really. Um, that could get pretty huge as well. I don't think we need... I think we're kind of right with just letting a lot of things die at the front. So maybe we take the Vulture. It seems weird to take something so reasonably low level in comparison. Uh, we're just going to switch those for another Vulture. And we're going to stick that Vulture on the front row and hope it pays off. <laughs> if anything, it's just fuel for the Great Pumpkin King. Which... Works pretty well. In fact, that should be that way around. Because we probably want our Queen of Hearts to get more buffs rather than be fuel. Does mean any Slay build is going to be benefiting a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, beautiful. Yeah, the Reduplicator is really good. Hopefully, pop our Great Pumpkin King. Go on. Nice. And then, I mean, how did it get so much? <laughs> it got so much health all of a sudden. Um, okay, nice. We do win. Not a knockout. But we do cement ourselves in first place. And that was significant because it was their... Um, they lost their plus two attack on everything. So I think we are just looking, again, same kind of thing. This Echo Wood could get so huge. It's a bit of a gamble, but with the Bearded Vulture and the Queen of Hearts, it's just going to get a little bit silly, the amount of buffs that we'd get on that. Um, we probably want an animal here, because we want an animal to die 
to buff these, which all those buffs go into Echo Wood. So Echo Wood will just get ridiculous. And then I think we're just looking for triples now, really. And maybe a treasure that will let us get rid of Fool's Gold. Oh. Oh, we're probably going to take you. <laughs> I guess. Because that's more buffs. I mean, maybe we just roll, roll straight into it. Um... The queen is not doing as much now. That's a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. So that echo wood is gonna get huge. If we can just let an animal die first. Exactly what we wanted. Oh, also, all our evil characters get plus one, so all of those go into echo wood as well. Okay, this is, this is gonna be fine. Unless they pull out the poison apple tree ant that reduces your health to one, then we're going to have plenty of buffs to carry us through and probably come first, which would be very nice. Nice, the trade we needed. Uh, it's unfortunate, but we just have to win. We don't have to win with a lot. Congratulations. Well, I tried to do it in time. Uh, so what are we looking for? I think we, yeah, we're gonna triple that because then we can start unlocking spells again. Um, we do double duplicate, so we could have plus six on everything. It's pretty good. Or we can just instantly upgrade something we buy, which is also very good. I think we take the monkey's paw. Uh, when one of your characters die first? Mm, yeah, we're not really doing would help with the echo wood, but I think the plus six on everything is pretty huge. And we're going to get rid of the gold boost because we want to buy spells now, occasionally. Uh, we will take that. Let's see what we get. Uh, I think we'll skip all of those. Um, we do want spells. Which spells do we want? We probably just want to switch that out for a cat. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Bunch of cats. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's best with our set of things we have. Oh, they're getting some very big ranged creatures. Um, we probably want to... Oh, no! Oh, damn. That's not the one we wanted to lose. Yeah, I think we'll lose this round as a result. We'll see. Maybe Bear Stain. Bear, Bear Stein. Yeah. Why do I think it was Stain? Pretty sure I said Stain once. Um, oh, yeah, this is good. It's going to help our Bearded Vulture get huge. And hopefully chip away at some of these other ones. Nice. Yeah, trade. If. Yes. All right, we saved taking damage. That's good. Uh, yes, I will take that. Um, we'll just, maybe we'll keep the cat because it might, the evil buff might be more useful. We could also turn our tree into evil, which probably wouldn't do much actually. Um, we have a monster in hand, but not particularly useful there. Damage to everything we don't care about. Hmm. Plus three health permanently. Let's put that on here. It might make a difference. Um, I'm wondering if... Uh, yeah, there's only three characters there. That plus six plus six is better than the plus four plus four. The Bear Stein is just too good a value. I think we switch those around though. Um, maybe we actually put that there. Just in case they get their uh, a dragon. Then they can't hit that middle spot. Oh, again. Oh my gosh. Wow, they are casting every spell every time. All right, and that's going to help. The reinforcements are here. It always hits the Echo Wood. 
We just needed to hit not the Echo Wood and either the Burst Iron or the Bearded Vulture, and then it helps a lot. But we might... No, I don't think we can beat that Fairy Godmother. That Fairy Godmother is so huge. But we mitigate some of the damage for now. Uh, we're not going to take Jormagand. Um, there is a Sheep and Wolf's Clothing. Oh, Crocbait is good. Let's Crocbait this. Because then we get to use it for longer. And we might get all three spawns each time from it. Do we want Sheep? Three creatures versus two creatures, but they're evil. Uh, I think... We don't want that. Yeah. In fact, we want that first as well. Because if that pops, we summon two of it. Which is ridiculous. Um, plus one, plus one isn't really making a difference to us. That health buff can help, but we've already used a spell. Um, yeah. Nothing really. Yeah, the Great Pumpkin King not really working out how we wanted it to. Although Captain Croc is a six, and then the thing it spawns is a five, assuming that it does spawn it as a five. We'll have to see. Because if we get another Captain Croc, that might make our Pumpkin King even better. Oh, so it does spawn as a six. Yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, I... oh nice. It stayed alive. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's ridiculously good. So if they kill the things correctly, we can get the most buffs. Um, we probably do want to move the sheep one, because we haven't seen any dragons. And then the other big pigs will spawn here, which means there's more chance that we get the attacks in the order we need. And 278, 221 is, is enough attack. Um, plus 10 health. I think we do want to try and find a Captain Croc. Or things that are going to trip us. Or do we take a Pigamorph? Pigamorph could help a lot. Uh, let's take one and we'll roll to try and get something for next turn that would help us. Which we do not find. But that is fine. Because yeah, we could take Great Pumpkin King. The problem is we have too many things that want to be on the back row. And I think we do want Bear Stein. So, I mean, ideally we triple it. Or triple the Echo Wood. Both of those are very good. The Great Pumpkin King is good as a backline, but when we have the Vulture and Bear Stein that are feeding our Echo Wood, then there just isn't room. There should be a treasure where you, uh, you get a, like a, you switch your rows. So you have three at the front and four at the back. That would be a good treasure. Maybe a level seven one, because it's probably very powerful, especially as people don't really play fly flying much at all. Not sure what we changed, but it's not evil now, so that's good. Nice, we got the double spawn that we wanted. Uh, although it doesn't really do too much for us, because... There's, our front row is just always full. <laughs> There's no room for anything. But it is another evil, which spawns another evil. So it's just as good as the sheep. Uh, for the purposes of spawning lots of evil things and letting them all die. Cool. We got rid of their biggest threat, I believe. Their Stein did something, which is impressive. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, we could have had a lot stronger a win, but it'll do. Uh, plain copy of a good character, but it's evil. I... Do I want to do that with the... Hmm. I don't think I want to do that. I think I specifically want to find a Bear Stein. <laughs> Um, or, or a croc. That's all we really need. I mean, it's, 
Plank of the good character is evil, so we could have more bear, but it would be evil, so we could... Although I don't think that buff is really doing that much for us. Um, yeah, our only evil trigger is our ability. And if we play Great Pumpkin King, which I don't think we're going to do. So let's just find a bear. Just a bear. There's a pumpkin. That's not a bear. Uh, oh, we should play a spell. Oh, should probably have got a better spell than that. Maybe it will matter. It might just make them stronger because they'll have something that says when it takes damage, get better. All right, everything they have is huge, but that's fine because we have so many characters. But their health buff is pretty huge. Oh my gosh, the friendly spirit. Wow, that is a very big vampire. And our Echo Wood is not going to be competing with that. That might be it. We could get knocked out already. 15, okay. Maybe we can come second. Yeah, we'll probably come second. Um, so again, best time. There we go. And then give me another best time. That's not what I wanted. Probably don't want that. I think we do just want to roll for best iron. I'm going to just sell these as well. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have buff, so that's not going to do much. Best iron, best iron. Nope. Um, it's probably better than the vulture to have two of them. Double its attack and health. Yeah, it's probably doing more than the Vulture is. And because they all have plus five attack, it's extra big. And all my characters have plus six, plus six. I assume that applies to things that spawn as well. Not quite sure. Yeah, your characters, all of them. That should be the case. So if we can triple our bear, then we'll put the bearded vulture back in. But otherwise, that vulture is staying on the bench. Okay, yeah, that, that is definitely better. Our echo wood is huge already. The real worry is if they pigify our echo wood. Um, also, our echo wood just isn't enough against their huge army that... Um, that Jack's Giant is playing. So, I don't know. We're going to have to find a... Oh, there's the triple bear. Um, I think we have to take that. And I think I'm going to get rid of the monkey's paw. So we can play all the characters. Um, maybe we take Cupid... I think we roll. So I kind of want... Do I want the Pumpkin King now? Because I need a way to deal with their never-ending army. And the Pumpkin King summoning a lot of things that all have plus five attack might be the only way we can make that happen. Uh, don't reroll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we'll take that. Um, that way around. We'll reroll in case we get close to tripling something. Nope. So. Hmm. We'll see how this plays out. It's going to be a huge Echo Wood, that's for sure. Obviously, it's going to trade there. This friendly spirit is annoying. Oh my gosh. We've got to do... Oh, there's 143. Sorry, I, was... I thought it was 1433. Okay, can we pull through? Um... 
don't know how many things our Pumpkin King's even going to spawn. Let's see. Okay. Uh, it's not quite what we needed. Oh, and that's dead now. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way we're taking on this. The magic sword, the dog, it's just too good. Especially with beauty, all your things are good. So they found the, the combo built for them. So, good game to them, Twink Boy. Ah, oh, that was tough, but we got second. Um, so that's 75 more rank. We also got another 80, it's pretty good. Bear Stein, still ridiculously powerful. Honestly, I feel like this thing's way too good. Um, but I don't really know what we could have done. We could have got more crocs. I once had three crocs on my front row, and I thought of crocking a croc and a croc, which would have been beautiful to watch play out. But uh, but I decided to put three crocs instead so people could see how many crocs I had. Um, and I think it felt slightly more like it made sense, but the croc and the reduplicator could be very ridiculous if you croc something that you've made that's huge like a a huge tree ant or a huge um what is the princess white she could have yeah well that's all we have time for uh we have gone up in rank which is good we're making progress we've got some more dust as well which is going to help towards getting another character but let me know, what would you have done differently? Was I playing the right build? Should I stick to my build like that? Or should I have fleshed out into a monster slay with a bit of pumpkin in there kind of build? Or was it over from the start really because at the end of the game they had a good boy with a magic sword and there's very little you can do about that, especially when they get to buff all of their things, which a lot of them were evil monsters that are already pretty huge on the stat line. So. Maybe it was all over for me before it even began, but let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one, which next week on Tuesday we'll be playing more Storybook Brawl as we wait for Cards and Castles 2 to come out. However, when Cards and Castles 2 come out, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing this. It just means I might be making one extra video every week. So, see you guys in the next one and make sure to like the video if you like it. And subscribe if you want to see more and keep updated. And I will see you guys next time.